Welcome to the Game Audio Resource WiseCube guide series. In this guide, we'll highlight steps of how to scope the project for audio content. Also, we will highlight how to then schedule all tasks for the project. Please note, this video is only a brief overview due to the large amount of information needed. Please see the written guide for a detailed overview. In this step, we will go over exactly what a project tracker does. In its simplest form, it is just a list of all audio content needed for the game project, which are task timed against a milestone deadline schedule. Any audio tasks needed for the project will be added to this tracker, so a full overview of how the project is tracking to milestones can be viewed. This tracker helps to diagnose if all current tasks can be completed by game release or a specific milestone, how the project is tracking throughout the project, if new audio tasks arise, is there available time to add them, if not, what low priority tasks could be exchanged, and finally, which tasks are assigned to each individual employee till the end of the project. How you set up your project tracker is up to you, with the knowledge you have of Excel and what information you want to see from the tracker. For a detailed guide of the tracker that we show in this video, please see the written guide and any links in the description. Let us start to scope the project. Using the Cube website to gather a list of information of what is available in the game. Entity type overview, vocalization types, footstep material types, armor types, weapon types, environment and element types, the UI available, and finally advisor. List out the basics of each audio component in each area and consistent audio content with each part. It does not need to be 100% detailed with every sound event needed at this point. For extra details of scoping, please see the written guide. Once you have an initial scoping list created, start populating the basic tasks into the project tracker document. It is also worthwhile testing some of the tech and implementation processes that you will need to use, e.g. test how footstep material types are hooked up. Due to the game not being officially released and allocation for audio memory budget and disk space not being needed or mentioned on the Cube site, this is not something you have to do for the project. Please see the written guide for details of what this step means. This part is as simple as it sounds, but it is critical for the project to be tracked to milestones. Go through all tasks you have listed in your project tracker, then start to assign how long each task will take. Now create milestone dates for your project to work against. You now have a full project scoped and ready to go with a priority system. Assign a priority value next to each task. You can now evaluate all project tasks listed against the milestones based on the priority system you have just added. If your tasks are over your milestone deadlines, descope low priority tasks. Do not remove the descope task as new free time could happen during the development process. If you have loads of free time available before deadlines, are your deadlines too generous? The final task is to plot a timeline of when tasks are to be completed, assign content owners, assign tasks to dates to be worked on, and how many hours each employee is available for. As you add task dates to each person working on the project, ensure you do not overschedule tasks on one person per week. This concludes a quick overview of how to scope and schedule a project for audio content. As mentioned, please see the written guide for a more detailed version of the content covered in this guide.